everybody, it's me Kim. I'm coming to y'all with another foundation review. Now I know I wasn't gonna post me buying no more foundation, but I'm really on the hunt for the perfect shade in um, Juvia's Place Foundation. And as you know, there are so many shades in Juvia's Place Foundation and it's get overwhelming trying to find your shade online. So I first uh, ordered 205 Tanzania and it's too dark. Now, I did order this in the summertime, so maybe that's why it's too dark for me now in the wintertime. Okay, so we can just gonna save that and try it again in the summertime. And then just recently, I went and picked up the stick in Cameroon, Camero Cameroon, excuse me. Now, I like it, um, but I really like the liquid velvet matte foundation. I'm not saying the stick isn't good because I like the stick too. But I just had to try another shade. So I said I'm going to go give it a go and try to find another shade that suits me. So I went and ordered offline and it took two weeks, guys. I don't know if it was because of the Christmas holiday, but Juvia's Place is kind of slow on the shipping to me. For me, my package was slow. Okay, so it was like two weeks. So I picked, um, I picked Legos. Now, as you know, her company, I mean, um, her foundation shades are named after cities in Africa, which is cool. That's really cool. And um, I also picked up the Zulu palette. And um, I'm not gonna put it on, but I wanted to swatch these shades for you. Guys, these shades are so pigmented. Like, this is a really nice palette. And I picked this up for $10 offline. Um, they had a sale, I think it was a sale, because they're really $20, $20 inside Alta. But this is the packaging, and isn't that cute? And um, these are the colors, and I thought they were so cute. So um, I'm not gonna put it on now. I do have on the brown and the, this one right now, but um, I'm not gonna do these now. I just wanna show you some of the swatches, okay? So. I'm going to put it on my hands, on my fingers, and I'm going to show you some of the swatches. This is just the black glue for my eyelashes, so I don't pay no attention to it. So this is the, now this first shade right here is orange. Second shade is yellow. Third shade is brown. This fourth one right here is green. Uh, I'm going to use my thumb for this shimmering lime green. They are so pigmented. I don't pay no attention either. Stuff from my desk under my nails. But they're so pigmented. Look at that. This right here is just beautiful. You see that? And the yellow, and all of them are beautiful. All of them are beautiful. So, we're gonna do the other, and there's nine pans. So you get a nine pan palette. And then we're gonna do this one, this one, that one, and that one. Look at those colors. Her palettes are so pigmented. They're beautiful. So, I just wanted to come and show y'all the palette. Uh, the Zulu palette. Now, a lot of people was using this palette in the summertime. You can use it in the wintertime. So, I want to just use it. Try to make some shade, I mean some looks out of it for myself. Um... But uh, they say here that the art of life, the ambiance of Zulu palette takes on a, a new character and it exemplifies the rich arts of people in South Africa embodied with colorful, wow, precision. So yeah, I gotta give this, shout, this uh, eyeshadow palette a try. Now, like I said, I just have on the brown and the bottom one just for a neutral look. But what I really wanna do is this foundation for my color of my skin to help everybody out. Cause this is how I find out what color shade I am in when it comes to foundation. Cause I go on YouTube and I'll find a girl my shade and I'll see if it matches. So if you're my shade complexion, let's see how Lagos looks on us. Lagos, yeah, Lagos. And you know, it comes in the same orange packaging as all the other ones. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna prime my face with some pore filler today. 
um, by NYX, NYX Pore Filler. Just to give myself that smooth canvas so I can really see how this foundation. Now I don't use this all the time, but it is really good. If you want that smooth canvas look, get you some of this NYX Pore Filler. I don't even know if you can already see the difference in my skin texture, but see how that worked? It really evens out the, the, um, your skin, the complexion of your skin, the texture of your skin rather. And it makes you look like it's just a baby soft bottom. Okay, so let's correct under my eyes. I'm gonna use my um, NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop in the shade, um, what is this, cappuccino, to um, correct under my eyes, okay guys? Because it's like orange. And we're just gonna use our Sonia Kasha sponge, and I'm just putting a little bit of NYX, um, I mean Elf, setting powder, setting spray on it. Just to add it in a little bit. And I don't pat all of it and I usually keep some for correction. Okay, now, but what I am gonna do is I'm gonna do one side with the Sonia Kasha sponge and I'm gonna do the other side with a brush. So I'm gonna see which one works best. So <clears throat> tonight I'm gonna to use um which brush I'm gonna use. I think I'm gonna use the Jaclyn Hill. I like Jaclyn Hill's brush, guys. Um this is the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Morphe Jaclyn Hill in the number. Ooh, I can't read it. Sorry, you know how my eyes are. Glasses downstairs. But if you can see that, mm -mm. can you see that? I don't know, but it's the foundation brush that Jacqueline Hill got. So we're gonna do this side. Look how look how that NYX uh, pore filler make your skin, and it feels so soft. Okay, so we're gonna use this side for the. Oh, I forgot seal. I hate these little seals, though. I really do, guys. Give me a minute. I gotta get into this. Oh, there we go. Okay. Now, first we're gonna do the swatch. And that's the color Legos. Now, don't worry about that. That's the swatches from um, the Zulu Power. But that's Legos. And I'm gonna give you a comparison of Legos and Tanzania. So just so you can see, the difference in the shades. Now this one is Legos, and that one is Tanzania. You see the difference? Tanzania has almost like a, I'm not gonna say a golden, more like a reddish undertone, warm undertone, and the Legos has more like a golden undertone. So that's why I said I was gonna pick it. Right here, you can see the difference right here, you see? So. My wipe set. Okay, so that's why we picked another shade because we want to see sometimes the red undertones can make you look kind of oompa loompish, and sometimes the golden undertone undertones for me can make me look kind of washed out. So even if it doesn't look right, we can always mix it. Okay, <laughs> I thought I mixed the two together. Okay, so we're gonna pour a little bit on our. Okay, so we're gonna pour a little bit on our Jaclyn Hill brush. And they always said that a little bit goes a long way. So that's just one pump. And it goes on so smooth. 
And by using this NYX pore filler, I'm telling you guys, it makes your face so smooth. Like the brush is just gliding over my face. Okay, and this is with the brush. Now, I could get put a little bit more right here because of my dark circles are coming through. So I'm just gonna put a little bit more right there. Now this is a full coverage foundation. So if this is your first time seeing, hearing about this um, foundation, I thought, I can't assume everybody knows. Yes, this is a full coverage foundation. Okay, now this is how it can apply with the brush. And for some reason, it just will not cover this right here. So that's why I always use a corrector. So, I mean a uh, concealer. Now we're gonna use our Sarin Gekasha uh, sponge and do the other side. Now I'm gonna have to put it on my hands for the other side for the sponge. And I already like how the brush side looks compared to the sponge already. I'm not really a sponge user unless I'm doing my concealer to pat it in. But as far as my foundation, I really don't like using the sponge, guys, because it looks too patchy for me. But this is the side with the sponge. And as you can see, I think it's best applied with the brush. So, just go back in and help it out. So this is Legu. So if you're my complexion, this is how Lego's color will look on you. If you have gold undertones like me. I'm going to put a little bit more on our head. Let's see. Blend this out. Now. I'm liking the Legos better. Yes, because it does oxidize a little. So, I'm gonna stick with the Legos. Legos. I can't even pronounce that name. Please, uh, people from, anybody from Legos, please don't, please forgive me for chopping up the, the name. So, this is how it looks in Legos. To this place, Legos. So that's how it looks. Now I'm going to correct under my eyes with a uh, CoverGirl. In uh, what I got this in? Tony? What is this, Tony?
Now see, I like using a sponge better to put my concealer on because it pushes the concealer into your skin. That's just for me. Some people like to put apply their makeup with it. And sometimes I have to use more than one concealer because it doesn't seem like this is covering up today. Sometimes I have to go in with more. I do have some Juvia's Place concealer. I have this in the shade um, number 11, J11. And um, <clears throat> let's use a little bit of a um, contour stick to contour the side of our cheekbones. And a little bit down the bridge of our nose. Using the same sponge. See how these sponges absorb all the makeup? Like, that's why I like using brushes or sponges only. Just push my concealer in. <clears throat> and, um... I usually just put a little lip liner on. If I can find it. Somewhere up here. No, no, look this one. Here, oh, we can take our um, what is this? Plum. Sugar Plum by Milani Lip Liner. And I'm outlining most of my lip because because I just want to. No, because I'm just gonna put a little bit of um <coughs> gloss by Essence. If you ever go to um Ulta, Essence has a gloss. Called shine, shine, shine. And they have them at the desk at checkout. <clears throat> and um, I think they're on sale. sale. But so this is how Legos looks. Now, I just wanted to show you the comparison of Lagos and Tanzania. So for anybody that's in my shade range, those are the comparisons, <coughs> excuse me, of um, Tanzania and Lagos. And, oh, didn't I say I was supposed to put one on one side and one on the other? 
Well, guys, sorry. But yes, this is the comparison of tans, I mean, uh, Legos with a brush. And this is Legos, excuse me. Oh, forgive me, y'all. With, um, now I like, I like the Legos. I do. The Tanzania was too dark. So we're just going to save that for the summertime. So I'm going to do the swatches for you again. This is Tanzania at the top. With a little, I would say, no, it's not a red undertone. It's a dark, it's an olive undertone. Okay, yes, it's an olive undertone. And this is the Legos in the golden undertone. See the difference? That's the olive undertone, and that's the golden undertone. So I'm sticking with the golden undertone. But I can get away with both. But it's the winter time and I'd rather go with the um, golden undertone. So that's what I wanted to show you guys. <clears throat> so thank you for coming to my channel. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And don't forget to love one another. Remember, because this world is crazy. They're out there talking about sex trafficking and carrying on. Don't nobody know what's going on. I don't know, y'all. This world is getting crazier. So thanks again for... Tune in. Bye.